today we are back with another tier list this time we're going to be doing sharpshooters coming in first we have b and we're going to put b in the b tier now that wasn't just for pun it is a pretty good brawler but unfortunately it's not as strong as it used to be it's pretty difficult for a range brawler especially a sharpshooter to be super good in the meta that is fully dominated by mid-range hypercharges so obviously B isn't going to be too good, but it's spinny gadget is very, very useful into a lot of different things. It's also a very well-rounded brawler, so you can play it in a lot of different modes. So for that reason, we're going to put it at the start of B. Let's move on to the next brawler. Next up, we have Bell, and I love Bell. It's one of my favorite brawlers in the game, but unfortunately, it's just not that good right now. We're going to slide it into the C tier because it's kind of similar to B, but unlike B, it doesn't have that crazy gadget that's just going to carry the game. If you have position and you put your bell traps down, obviously you're going to do really well, specifically in modes like gem grab and hot zone, but you can't really get to that position very easily right now with bell. So because of that, we're going to have to leave it in the C tier. It's pretty well rounded in modes, but again, it's just not very, very good in anything right now. So we're not going to give it a high rank. Next up, we have Bonnie. And again, Bonnie just isn't that good right now. We're going to put Bonnie in the C tier, but I feel like it's kind of in between C and F. So we're going to put it at the bottom of the C tier. It's really just not that good anywhere right now. Obviously, you can use it in heist, but the issue right now with Bonnie is that it's a single fire brawler that only deals 2000 damage. In a meta that's full of HP and healing and hypercharges, it's just really difficult for a brawler that's always doing 2000 damage to really get any kills or have significant impact over the course of a game. Now, obviously in heist, you can jump on the safe or in other modes, you can jump on throwers or sharpshooters like the brawlers we're talking about right now and get kills, but you can really only trade one for one with your super. And if you're kind of useless the rest of the time, you know, it's not exactly what you want. So for those reasons, we're gonna leave Bonnie in C, but I'm hoping it gets a buff soon. Coming up next, we have Brock and don't kill me because it's not because it starts with the letter B like B. But just like B, that's a lot of Bs, I'm going to put Brock in tier B. I put it a little bit lower in my last tier list for overall brawlers, but I think it's a little bit better than I gave it credit for. A lot of you guys were saying that it's A tier, but Brock is 100% not A tier. I feel like even B is a little bit generous. But it's good in a lot of different modes, Knockout, Bounty, Heist, to name a few. And it can be played in the other ones as well. The issue with Brock is that once a hypercharged brawler gets close to you, which you guys are going to notice a lot with these sharpshooter brawlers, it just can't do anything. Luckily, you do have the jump gadget, so if you have that gadget equipped, you can get out of some scenarios, but still, it's not that great. Next up, we have Byron, and just because it starts with the letter B doesn't mean we're putting it in the B tier. We're going to put it ahead of Bonnie, but below Bell in the C tier. Again, it just doesn't do enough right now. Both gadgets are good. Both star powers are good. There is nothing wrong with Byron. It's just not strong enough and doesn't do enough damage to be in the meta right now. You guys are going to notice as we continue to do this tier list, the brawlers that deal more damage are going to be a little bit higher up in the tier list. And that's just how it's worked with tanks, sharpshooters, everything in the game right now. Whatever does more damage is going to be better because there is so much HP in the game. Byron can be played really well with two other aggressive brawlers. So in a draft setting, like an old power league, if you were to draft Byron with a tank, then it'll work out really well. But alone, Byron is definitely a C tier sharpshooter. Next up is Colette, and you can argue if you want that it's a sharpshooter or not. I think it has a lot of range and it's a single fire shot, so I count it as a sharpshooter. And we are going to put Colette in the S tier. Now, if you want to argue if Colette is or isn't a sharpshooter, that's totally fair. But in our video, we're going to count it as a sharpshooter, and it is definitely an S tier brawler in any list. The hypercharge is broken. It absolutely destroys the high safe. You guys have seen this before. You're going to see it again. This brawler is so good, but it can also be played on Brawl Ball, Gem Grab, Knockout, even like you can play it anywhere you want. It's obviously really good into tanks. The only weakness is brawlers that outrange it. So a lot of the brawlers on this list do counter it, but Colette can still win 100% against any of these brawlers. Next up, we have Gray, and we're going to put Gray in the bottom of the B tier because Gray, it's just not that great right now. Similarly to Byron, you have to use it with brawlers that synergize well. So you need brawlers that can use your teleport often. But unlike Byron, the teleport is a lot more useful than just heals here and there. So if you can teleport into someone's face when they're one shot, or if you can put a teleport down and have your tanks constantly go through it, then you guys are going to be very valuable to your team. So as a brawler, it might not be the strongest, somewhat like Byron, but your impact in the game is very good. We're going to put it in the B tier. Next up, we have Gus, and Gus is going straight to F. I don't know why they nerfed Gus. Like, what was the reason for nerfing the knockback? I don't really understand. Maybe if they're going to rework Gus to become more of a support brawler, maybe give the shield a little bit more HP, give it a little bit more healing with the ghost. Sure, I understand that. But you're just taking away from a weak brawler and not adding anything to it. I have no idea why they messed up Gus. 
It's definitely an F tier brawler, and I really hope it gets a balance change soon, a buff, because it needs one. It's unplayable without it almost. Next up, we have Mandy, and Mandy is a pretty good brawler. I played it a lot at Worlds, and it's pretty fun, but unfortunately, we're going to have to put it in the very top of the C tier. Now, the reason it's in C tier is although it's one of the better sharpshooters in the game, Again, it doesn't do well into things that run in its face, and unlike Brock or Gray that can TP or jump out, there is just nothing you can do. You do have a slow gadget, so if someone goes three or four tiles away from you, maybe you can get that hit, but it's not very consistent. You can't auto-aim at all with Mandy, so it's not like if someone comes close to you, you can click your gadget and auto-aim. It's still kind of a difficult shot to hit, and if you don't hit it, you're screwed, and that's the only defense mechanism you have against brawlers coming at you. So I just don't think it's a very good brawler right now. It definitely also needs a little bit of a buff. With that said, though, it can absolutely dominate any bounty or knockout game. So we're going to put it at the very top of C tier for that reason. It's just not well-rounded at all. So although it's in C tier, it's at the top. It's okay. It's usable. But I probably wouldn't recommend maxing it right now if you have other brawlers that you could. Next up, we have Nani. And Nani is a very, very good brawler right now. But it is a just little bit short of the S tier. So we're going to put it as our first brawler in the A tier. It does a lot of damage. The teleport and the return to center are both really good gadgets. And both star powers are kind of useless. But as long as you have one of those gadgets, you should be fine. It's good on a lot of different modes. And it counters basically every single one of the brawlers on this list. So the reason we have it A is because it counters all of the sharpshooters, but it is also pretty decent against tanks as well. You do have to hit your shots though, so if you're not the greatest at Nani, it's not like you can just go out there and win every game. But if you're a good Nani, this is definitely a really good meta for you. Next up is Penny, and Penny is going with Gus straight into the F tier. This brawler is not good. You can go a full game hitting like 75% of your shots with Penny, and you're still going to find a way to lose somehow. It just doesn't do enough damage, doesn't have enough health, doesn't have anything really to stop a hypercharge brawler. It's just not dynamic enough right now to be that good. In low trophies around 300, 200, 400, 500, yeah, you can win with Penny 100%, but as you get higher up in trophies where you start to face max brawlers and brawlers with just more HP, you're going to have too difficult of a time with Penny. You guys are going to have to play basically perfect to win any game. So for that reason, we're going to put it in the F tier with Gus. Coming up next is Piper, and I might have a little bias, maybe a lot of bias, but Piper is going to go straight into the S tier, and I'm going to do that with a smile on my face because Piper is not always a really good brawler. There are times where I pick Piper where I know I'm probably going to lose with Piper, but I just want to play it. That is not the case right now. It is so good. There's a reason I got world record Piper. It was also broken matchmaking, but this brawler is so dominant. It outclasses basically every range brawler. I mean, just look at all the range brawlers on this list and imagine you were playing Piper into it. And the good part about that is you also have a curve, which always hits basically. And then on top of that, you can also do really good into tanks because they can't hit you and you do a ton of damage. Piper is really good right now. I'm so happy because of that. And it is going to be our second S tier brawler. Coming up last, we have RT and RT is going to go in the very bottom of the B tier because it's not dynamic enough. I mean, it super does do a lot of damage, but you can very rarely use the super where it's actually going to be useful. Most of the times you just get baited into it and then you're stuck in that, you know, weird Jackie form where you can't hit anyone and just end up dying. The reason why it's going to be B tier is because it actually does a decent amount of damage. Marking someone, even though it's just for the next bullet, is actually really useful. And I think it is a very strong brawler in a 3v3 setting because of that. You're obviously not going to be doing great in solo showdown or carrying a team, but just leaving brawlers marked leaves such a big impact on different interactions in a team game. And over the game, you end up doing a lot for your team. So this is going to be our sharpshooters tier list. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comments below.